Okay, I'm sticking with what I guess. Yeah, I should. Next time I'll use my potent potables to give me, myself the four turns with plus two he on all healing. Because since I have so many healing cards now, that'll just like give me a, a massive healing boost. Encounter. Elderly wine merchant. Oh, okay. One of the wheels of his cart has fallen off and he seems struggling to put it back on. He doesn't seem to notice you as you approach. But he oh, hasn't just tried to help him. Lift the cart. Him. Rob him, right, right? No, do not rob him. You offer to help. Let's help the merchant. You tap the wine merchant on the shoulder, startling him enough to make him jump into the air. Gah! Don't sneak up on an old man like that. His beady eyes glance around the party through bare, dirty, scratched spectacles just as you are about to open your mouth to offer assistance. I don't know what he says. He managed to get the wheel back in the cart without too much difficulty. You buffoons! So, yeah, we drink, we drink some nice wine on the side of the road. It's the finest you've ever tasted, and you feel invigorated. You have We've been strengthened! strengthened. Get advantage. Yeah. On our, I think our first turn we have an advantage. Yeah. Yo, that's a nice flavor text. Pretty much like D and D light. Mm -hmm. Before you know it, we're gonna be playing Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know, man. That's pretty intense. Oh God, I'm not gonna get any of these experience. I have to end the scenario with two or less health, or use no items. Your health at the end of the scenario is equal to your maximum health. Oh, yeah. That one should be easy. Let's gain seven or fewer XP <laughs> or allow none of your allies. Oh, that's, my, that's my favorite none quest. Of, none of your allies to become exhausted. Um, Aim low, gain low. No XP. Yeah, that's whatever. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Seven or fewer XP. I'm gonna go piss real quick. Rewarding mediocrity. Mm -hmm. Aim low. FOMO. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this? Well, this is gonna be undead with flaming bows. Uh oh, we gotta split up for this one. Or else we'll be exploded. Bone Ranger. Gosh. All right, these guys are lined up nice for a nice uh, net net shoot. Three. Bone Ranger Elite. Since you guys are next to me, I'll give you a plus one attack enhancement. Yeah, maybe you should go in the middle, Dan. What do you, or, well, I guess, yeah, you're... I, I, I still have the enemies in range, and I'm adjacent to you guys, so. Should I move forward some? Over here. That's fine. Yeah, I'm doing a high, um, in, or a fast initiative um, AOE attack. That'll hopefully uh, immobilize. Yeah, this all right. Guy's yeah, he's going to be pretty intense. Where's the door? Oh, over here. Um, I guess I'll start chipping away with a ranged attack at the uh, living corpse or the bone ranger and then get my yeah. shield up. Attack two, range three. Actually, I really like that. So let me do that. So none of these guys are elite. Man, I have a really they're not gonna be grouped up, is my fear. So this this when... guy, this guy's the elite the yeah. Bone Ranger. Really like grouped up so nicely right now, but Yeah, do an you know, AoE attack if you can. Early. Yo, don't be afraid to burn a card early. Especially if they're in a nice position. No, not burning. I just need a low initiative. Is the problem because oh. I really, I really wanted to beef, beef up my AOE attack. Um, attack three. Actually, that one's really good. Yeah, I want to do that one instead. Yeah, true. You don't have many low initiative cards. No, I don't. Forceful storm. Dan and I have a fair share of low initiative cards. Yeah, I got some good low initiatives.
Right, let's go, Craig Hart. Let's go, Craig Hart. Remember, you have advantage. All right. Take advantage of it. Let's see how this goes. Looks like I go first. Oh. Damn, I, didn't, I didn't want the living bonus. Go. Go. God damn it. I picked the wrong initiative card. Give me all right, so everyone that stays in my little uh aura plus gets attack. plus one attack. Oh well. Oh yeah, look at this. And remember, do not use your eagle eye goggles because you already have advantage. I know. Wait. You can target all three of those. You're only targeting two. Yeah, I see. Um, there we go. You got to click here. Wait. Oh, you're only attacking two. I don't know if you can attack all three. I don't know if it's... Click that tile. It's not letting me... T oh, because it's a range of three. You're right, because you're not in range. So yes, I can so you only... can only attack those two. When I click this tile, though, it only... Which tile? I don't know what tile you're clicking. You uh, this, this, when I click this one... Yeah. I'll yeah, because you're in a... It's range of three, so this is the furthest you can click. So you can only attack two. Fine. Just attack two. All right. Donzo. Got two of them. Holy crap. Very nice. All right, so they'll move in to fill the void. And then we'll just unload on them again. Nice. Nice. All right, so we got two more to clear, then on to the next room. Okay. So I unfortunately put something on, but let me. What's up, Jacoby? Yo, how's it glooming? Oh, well. Hey, pretty good. You see this uh, range three? Me go and do. Yeah. So let me actually keep up power. Yeah, if you can kill both of them, just fucking do it. Fucking do it, man! Oh yeah! Fucking do it, bro. So is this usually tabletop, and you're like playing a online version? Yeah, it's like a, yes. it's like a game version of the board game, or a game a, version, a, a PC game version of the board game. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Game version of a game inside of a Game's game. All the way down. Okay, are we? Uh... We got to make our way over to the door. Oh, what just happened? So we're just walking to the door. I don't know why I just got out of it for me. Wait, did you disconnect? I think I just disconnected. Fuck. All right, hold on. Come back in. Yeah, it says Nira disconnected. Post razor is in control. It's control over. I want some. That's kind of my. You know, yeah. Yo, All right, uh, Ben, why do you have different usernames on everything? I don't fucking know. Yeah, um, I asked him yeah, the same right, question one time. Right it's like so confusing. confusing. All right, That's so tough. wrong. Steve, let us know if you can get back in. If not, we'll restart the scenario. So I mean, I need far. to know what the join code is. Did you post it? I mean, you could... Can you try and invite me or no? I'm um, okay. typing it in, in the Gloomhaven chat. Got you. Coming right in. I tried to invite you, but it did not work. Okay, it just fine. says you're online. It doesn't say you're playing Gloomhaven. No, I just saw my VPN thing connect to a new server for whatever reason. So, whatever. May have just booted me for a hot minute. Which is uh, you're supposed to. Can you just? We should get rid of this trap. How do we get rid of a trap? I don't know. I mean, one of you guys could just land on it, and I'll heal you. Okay, so. It says a downloading new save. All right. But I'm doing a move four on you, Steve. No, 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 no. Do not pick my cards. No, what I want, yes, I want the backup ammunition top, top, top portion. Yeah, I think you want to end up right there and then just use backup ammunition because I'm going to loot 
and then rest and then get to the door. So I need one extra turn. Why don't, can you just assign me to Craighart? I'm in now. Yeah, okay. So what are you trying to sell me on? Don't you want to end up there? Uh, yeah, yeah. So move so three. You have a move, one, so I selected two. a move four and backup ammunition. So you can move yep, to perfect. there and then apply your backup ammunition. That's perfect, yeah. If your objective is to open a door, you could, in theory, open open the door next no, turn. No, it's not. It's not this. Uh, it's not not this turn. That was that, that was last round. I mean, it's it's probably better for us all to get into position before opening the door as well, so that way we're not uh, one person doesn't get ganked. Yeah, agreed. Nice movement. Uh, he wants to just collect some gold. He using that loot. He collecting the gold. See, you gonna use the ink bomb? No. Uh, just uh, Dan. I think you probably want to be there. Ultimately, right behind the trap, so you can range into the room, and then you can heal me while I stand in the doorway. Oh, I can't use my movement. You already you used your move before. Oh, I can't use it again? All right. No. I'll just attack Neuro Nerd then. Yeah, that sounds good. Probably. Confirm! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going to use himself. So I need a f one, two, three. F I need a move five. High range. Um, so I have a move three. I have a move four. I can move into place. But I probably don't want to be the one to open the door, four. right? I'm going to be able to move there. And then I'm going to rest, probably, and then move there. So I, I need, as I said, I need the one. I, unfortunately, I, I can't get there this turn. Oh, should I, oh. should I rest up first? Well, so... I don't really need to. Potentially, that means, Steve, maybe you should long rest this turn. Yeah, I think so. Do you want me to open and the door this turn? I'm not going to be able to open the door this turn. Yeah, but I can move four. You shouldn't You shouldn't be in front. You should not open All the right, door. I won't, I won't open then. I would say you want to move there, and then if there's an extra turn, maybe just long rest. Okay. I'll, I'll need, I'm going to move here this turn, and then I think I'm going to short rest, and then a, next turn move there. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to long rest. I could summon a harmless contraption right here. I could technically move... Nah, it's too late. So I can technically move on to the trap. I just realized I probably shouldn't have long rested because now I have to pick one of two cards that are good cards to burn. Oh, should I should I just land on the trap and take the damage? I. You could. It's two damage. It's not the end of the world. But it'll be it'll be good position for me. I think. You're gonna want to get that on your next four heal actions. Add plus two heal. You're gonna want to get that in play sooner than later. Ideally, before we open the door. I mean. You know, Dan. Yeah, that's what you're saying. But it's too late. Want to... Um. Fuck. Okay, I'll do this one. Do it, man. Yeah, I have one of two cards that I both like, so I should not have long rested. But that's okay. I should have just picked two random cards. All right, okay, let's... next turn. Ben, you will open the door this turn, is that correct? Yeah. So let's let Ben use a... I'll I use a slow a slow initiative so that Ben can get in the door. I'm going 54. That's cheating. Okay. 
Wait, I don't have anything slower than 54. I mean, I could do a long rest. I mean, you could, but again, I'm going to open the door and enemies are going to spawn, so... Yeah, yeah. but if you op you're opening it after I go, I don't have anything slower than 54. So I would go before you. You just short rest. Get all your cards back, discard one, burn one, and then get all your cards back, and then start with a fresh hand. Yeah, but I don't really need to short rest. I mean, you don't, true, but 54 is the lowest initiative I have, unfortunately. So it's up to you. Do you want to waste a turn, or do you want to short rest and be able to potentially heal or deal damage to enemies this turn? Hey, why don't you do 35 now? I don't want to waste, I want to generate the air on this move so I can use skewer once they pile on. All right, let me, let me do short rest. It's like, what's the mechanic here? You're, you've got like a deck for this whole scenario. So you, you get cards and each card has a top action and a bottom action. And when you pick your cards, uh, you can pick one top action and one bottom action from the two cards and combine them into a top and bottom, which is usually a move and an attack action. Sometimes they're slightly changed, but that's the basic gist of it. You get cards, you combine a top with a bottom action, you do attacks, provide different status ailments on enemies, you receive status ailments on enemies, you have so much health. All right, so I am, um, I'm good. I'm gonna go slower than you. And I'm then, going 54. Yep, I'm going slower. And you're not, you're not supposed to tell Wait, me, hold on. you're not supposed hold to tell on, me 54, it's cheating. Cheaters. Cheaters. You can't just cheat because convenient, man. Make sure I get move. Should I move one more forward? All right, Ben. I'm Keep using something that'll be, give you adjacent. Um, Holy adjacent shit, boost. dude. It's a lot of archers. All right. Oh boy. Yo, oh, wait, at least oh, they got the at least they got the heal card now while they're already full health. You're That's facing the wrong way, dude. Who's that doesn't matter. We're perfect. We're doing so well. Attack four, range of two. God damn. All right, which one's elite? Those you guys got to kill those archers super fucking fast. Yeah. Attack five, push one. This guy's elite. He is, but the, if those three archers start shooting at me, I'm gonna take a lot of damage really quick. Whereas the living elite will come towards me slowly. Just be cautious once those archers start getting in range. Of me. Yeah, and I'm using the card that gives me the healing buff for four turns, so I'll be prepared. Range five, oh, nice. Yo, get this uh, fat guy. Yeah, yeah, I should be able to hit two though. That's why I'm a little confused. Click the tiles. I can't click uh, this guy. Oh, maybe because he's not in range? Because you're behind this. He uh, should be. You don't have to. Does that count as line of sight? Probably line of sight issues. God damn it, man. Why can't you highlight it then? Like that. You can't draw a straight line from your tile to that. Try, tile. try just targeting this guy. See if that works. I tried. I tried. I can. Oh, it's be it's because this thing's blocking line of sight. I think. Oh no no no! no. no it's the door. He's right in front of a door or a wall. So he should well, he should be able I to need draw to get outside the door in order to use my card. Well, Attack should... the living elite. Let's just keep going. Doing all right. Christ. You're doing great, boss. You'd think there would be I'm line of sight. Great, Steve. You could draw a corner of the uh, the door to the guy. Really good work. Yeah, I don't know. Like the whole line of sight thing is a little wacky. So I should be fine with Dan. All right, giving myself plus two for heat next four heal actions. Nice. And uh, I don't know if this aura. Of is the aura is kind of wasted. But yeah. Well, yeah. I'll just use it. Doesn't matter. Yo, Steve, you got any trick-or-treaters? 
I don't believe we'll have any. But we are going to dress round. our dogs up. All right, should I hang <laughs> back behind the door still? I'm I'm not planning on moving, and I'm going late this round, so I'm probably going to take some damage. Would be my guess. Then you don't want to move like here or here. Sorry, here or here. I mean, I might be able to move there, but again, I got to go a little late in the action. Well, the thing is, Ben, my line, I got, then I have to move or something, because I have a card that allows me to hit two targets. I can't hit two targets if, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not. All right, I can move it. one into the room, but again, I'm going late. Yeah, why don't you move one into okay, the room? Okay, you're going, what's your initiative? 77. You're not That's supposed to say the initiative. It's, it's cheating. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So this is where house rules kind of come into play. So when you play the physical board game, there's a lot of house rules that get developed. On yeah. Like, house rules. Oh, like we didn't do this, so let's redo it and redo. I mean, is that is stuff. that commonly how you're supposed to play? Just like shouting out yeah, the so initiative. Yeah, that, that's commonly how the how the board game is played. Uh, that I've heard amongst a lot of people that house rules just get generated. It's just how. All right. Well, if we if happen. we agree that that's how switch, we want to do it from now on, the, that's fine. Uh, when you switch to the like video game version, they don't give you the option to have those similar house rules because yeah, the video I, game I was is just, programmed to like do certain things in certain scenarios. I was just going off the fact that it was a question mark at the top whenever we select. So I thought that yeah. it was just like you're not really supposed so, to I mean, say it. So I mean, technically, yes. I don't believe you're supposed to say the exact initiative. Yeah, exactly. For me personally, I don't think it's too big of an issue because, yeah, unfortunately, the, uh, the video game takes away a lot of the liberties to assign house. Rules. All right, that, that's fine with me. If we're if we we're going to agree to say the number, that's fine. Um, I would just yeah, get more comfortable. Maybe we can control. start changing to like, oh, I'm going late. I'm going, I'm going early. Maybe we can start to change that yeah, if we want to yeah. later. Yeah, I, I just case, thought. Like, I just thought. In theory, it made things a little spicier because you're not 100% sure. Like, it, it re basically reduces the problem of quarterbacking. If I don't think we're suffering from quarterbacking and one person just telling everyone else what to do. Um, so I don't think it's an issue. Let's just uh, say the initiatives. That's fine. Okay. All right, Ben. That's good. So I'm, yeah, I'm going to go pretty late also, but uh, per your late start. Um, I'm still not quite sure what to do here. Yeah, not too many guys in range for you right now, unless you have a one, two, three, four. Range. Try to go late so that the archers move yeah. a little bit closer. The melee guys move a little I'm gonna, bit closer. I'll, I'm trying to trying to go late. I'll do 74, which is still faster than I think your yours. But uh, I mean, I, I could. Wanna try, I want to try and use that air. I have it. I could pop in over here, maybe, and then set up a um, decoy. Yeah. And then actually, remember, if you go, yeah, remember, if you go late, movement might be more limited. Just remember that, because the enemies will likely move before us, so they might start clogging stuff up. So just be aware, movement becomes harder the later. Attacking usually becomes easier the later. All right, let's try that. So move to, move to, attack to range of three. Yeah, so th all this, allies adjacent. This looks good because they'll they'll we're gonna all start. We're gonna all start taking damage from these archers. But at least this turn, they won't be able to really attack me. Okay. Wow. You moved what was that? So oh. now I cannot move. So I'm stuck here. Got muddled, and immobilized. Damn, if I could get here, I could attack all three of those guys. With your uh with my ability. Your three yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. I know which one you're talking about. All so right. is the only thing that's right here. Guys? Um I think with some sort of heal. No, uh, I don't think heal. I don't think heal. No, I don't think so. I think that was well, just for poison. Maybe. No, yeah, you're right, just poison. That's right. Is the only randomization the shuffling of your cards? Yeah, so when you roll attack modifiers, when the uh, enemies draw their abilities for the round, it's random. They have like a deck of like okay. four to eight abilities they can draw from. Um, well, in this case, this guy moved into position. I'll, I can poison him or I could kill him outright. Maybe I should do that with a discard. Kill him, kill him. I mean, although, yeah, that's fine. Because he has five and I can do five. So, so I'll give myself the eagle eye goggles. Um... It's possible one of the bone archers is in range for me now. Living bones, rather. Sure. Oh wait, so it, I might be able to do some damage myself. A couple of them. 
Hold up. It's, oh, there we go. I wasn't selecting. Alright, let's kill this guy. There we go. So the elite's down. And I can't I could summon a decoy. I don't know if it's worth it summoning behind me. I don't think so. I would say no. Should I just move into position, like over here? So you can't move because you just did your bottom action. So you'd have to forego your attack action and wait till next turn. Oh, uh, okay. I'll just uh, skip attack. That's fine. I was able to take out that guy. Yeah, I think that's yeah. That sucks that I can't move. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. Do you have any? I mean, you could still use that skewer, right? No, I need to. I need to get there. Oh, oh, yeah. So I can't. So unfortunately, my turn is entirely wasted. I can't. Yeah, I could attack these two. I wonder if there's like a, is there some sort of potion that would cleanse ailments instead of health? It sucks. Not that we've encountered it in Jaws of, the, Jaws of the Lion, I don't think. Yeah, that's quite unfortunate, man. All right, so you probably want to move in Maybe like to this one of these. I think I do. I think I think I'm gonna move in, Ben. I think that's it's fine. Fun. I would have yeah. moved in if I could. Yeah. So let me. So if you move to the right, might be better because these these guys are gonna start swarming you to the left. If you go there. Yeah. Do yeah, and just be careful. Be one space away from me if possible, because remember the the ranger elites. He has an explosive uh, all arrow. All allies and enemies adjacent to the target suffer one damage. So just be aware, if we're next to each other and they target me, all of us are taking one damage. Okay. So you might want to start spreading out. Awesome. Damn. Take that. Take oh, that. yeah. Hey, you're down. You're down quite a bit. Oh, yeah. All right, I just short rested.